Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Educational Gamer and we are playing Pre-Dynastic Egypt where we are, well, building up our Egyptian civilization. We are on turn 176 uh, out of 220 so it is nearing end game uh, and we are trying to build up our resources just quickly enough uh, to really beat uh, the game. We have also been um, informed that very soon we are likely going to face another trial and that trial is going to be on the civil war so let's see what that is about um i think what we have to see is whether um we should take to praying to a uh, neck bath over here because right now we have 30 percent discontent i don't actually know what happens once we do that the more enemies you have, the faster it grows. Uh, we don't have that many enemies, but you know what? Let's honor you nonetheless. Uh, reduce their chance by quite a bit, and that should be fine. We're also building up the gold mines of Nubia, uh, which should give us quite a bit more hammers, which is just as well. Ooh, okay. So we are losing a little bit. So the effect of the ruler Scorpion has uh, died. He was a great leader and his body was buried by all the cannons in the sacred land of Abydos in the presence of a very large crowd of people. So uh, we are getting a less boost, um, but we are getting a one-time culture boost, which is also nice. In terms of culture, we can now discover the plow. plow. Um, we do need to aim for this though, and we do have the 30 turns that I think we will require. So in 30 turns we would be able to make 45,000 culture. We have more than 30 turns left. So let's go ahead and, and discover the plan. There we go. Should give us a big in increase in, in our food production, uh, which is nice. No, we are not quite requiring that anymore. Uh, we don't really have that many more possibilities to increase our builder's cap, but on the other hand we will need more food I think for the, um, can we actually build anything? Only the barracks. Maximum of workers. Okay, yeah, no, we can actually increase our maximum of workers, so that's fine. Or is it the maximum of workers who can work in these tiles? Oh well, we will find out, so I think that's going to be alright. We should also very soon probably see turmoil. Yeah, civil war. King Scorpion's death has, has greatly disturbed the people. Uh, without a strong hand, the unrest has spread to many conservative-minded people. Turns left before the rebellion. Well, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. So, what I... Oh, I also didn't... Keep in mind that we were running a culture boost policy. That might have been a mistake. Um, at any rate, I think what we should do is on a neck bath. 20% decrease in revelation chance. Let's do that a couple of times. So I think 10% chance is fine. Let's see what the turmoil does now. Chance of rebellion, 90%. Turns left before the rebellion. Let's do it one more time. So we are now at, at zero. So I'm really intrigued to see what's going to happen now. Building up the barracks. Civil war has begun. The innovations of skin copians have split society, which have lived, had lived for thousands of years only by the laws of their ancestors. Regional leaders of the rebels have declared themselves Horuses and, trying to restore the old order, have separated from Hierakoponolis. This has confused, caused great confusion among all people. Maybe they were cursed. Okay, so, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. That's a lot of revolts. That's, that's not nice at all. However, we can train up quite a couple of people over here. That's probably what we want to do. And training over here is much more efficient. 
So let's go ahead and start doing this. And we did not in fact increase our worker cap. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Still, I think um, just for now, training up as many people as possible is fine. And we don't seem to be able to build anything. Tomb, tomb. Seems to all require certain rains, so not something that we can do right now. Uh, and one person we will need to keep uh, because we probably need to send these people control over rebels. 1,900. 6,000, oh my. 1,200. 1,200. 1,200. 1, 9. 1, 9. 6, how? How can they have so many? Okay, uh, let's attack over here. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, the rebellion chance is increasing. Horus encourages all his loyal servants to fight the evil spirits who possess the minds of the rebels. Order must be restored. We are getting a boost to our military. That's uh, nice to see. Mobilization for the civil war. It's going to end in civil war. Okay. We should put the rebellion strength back into the control of Horus as soon as possible before they declare themselves independent. Send troops to these regions and restore order. Total size suppressed, compromise, strength of the rebels. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? We can spend a lot of this. We can really bribe them quite extensively. Even though the costs are going up, I'm willing to spend a lot of money, uh, authority, and hammers over here. To really reduce them quite substantially. Oh, it's only 5% off that number, not 5 percentage points. Okay. 34%. So, how many people are here now? 2,000. I don't really want to take too long over here, is the thing. This is only decreasing by so much by now. Okay, last time. 27. How many people have they now fixed? 6,000. Well, we are training up quite a number. But we don't really need that much food, do we? Well, we do need to get to the unification of Egypt thing, so that will also take a while. Plus 300. Let's try to make sure that we are attacking many of these forces as possible. At the very least, the small ones. Well, I mean, each time we are the larger party, so we might be able to do it this way. Should we attack over there? Yeah, we should. Let's attack. We are not losing as many because we are not fighting them all at the same time, so we are only losing 12 guys over here. So I think that's fine. But we're losing a thousand over there. Oh, because that's a go tribe. And that was an attack that we initiated earlier, in fact. But we are flanking them, lost a couple. Symbol of power, a group of our craftsmen blessed by the gods spent almost their entire lives creating wonderful items. What object will the crown be? More authority or, well, well, army, army it is. The admiration of the maze. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, that was a raid over there. Should probably try to subdue them. Uh, but we probably shouldn't be trying to do that now. Should send someone over here though. Uh, because we will definitely need the culture. And in terms of our settlement. 
you know what, I'll send you to train up a little bit more of an army. And we really should have taken one of the cults and reduced the strength of our enemies. I think that would have been a good idea. But we're only taking two losses over here. This might be one of the stronger attacks. I really hope that we're gonna roll something positive over here. Yeah, just look at our numbers dwindling. Yeah, but now we are flanking the enemy, so there we go. And even 200 shouldn't be too bad. Again, because we are fighting them sequentially. I think that's the key. Which of course is just by the uh, game. Melee combat. Just come on. Do something nice. Yeah, enemy troops hesitate. That's fine. Here we go. So we should have should be able to have dealt with that in within three turns. Which I do hope is a gold victory. Yes, it is. Funny enough, it doesn't seem to be re us requiring to actually beat the last target over here. Very nice. For a past gold victory, Horus has crushed the rebels with his iron hand and instilled awe in the hearts of all doubters. Now the power of Horus is unshakable. Very lovely. Okay, we can pull you back from training for the army. Uh, you guys as well should probably not do that. Um, I think we'd much rather have you farm up a little bit so that we can get some some food. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Can I just click that away? Go away, please. I know I won all of these battles. Right. And, and on the world stage, we should reoccupy the important cities. Authority. Simply good tile. Simply good tile. Simply good tile, good tile up there. Everyone seems to be fine. Sinai. All the good tiles are being worked again. Well, that's a plus four, it's not too bad. Plus four, plus eight. Yeah, everything else down here is fine. We'll send you over here to subdue these people. That should be fine. And in our city itself, we are training up some some armed forces. So I think I think that's all right. Next turn, ration of the maze and mobilization is increasing, so we should replace our losses pretty pretty easily. Um, we are also building up more culture, um, but again, I'm not sure that's going to be enough. So. Uh, what we are needing is 3,000, uh, well, 36,000. We have 22, well, sorry, 20, uh, 30, 35 turns left. Yeah, I think we are going to be alright. It's not going to be immediately enough, but over time it should be somewhat. King Ehorus, the King Ehorus, whose name means Friend of Horus, has come to power. He will be remembered as the king who set the oldest tax in history, the Meat Tax, which was collected from peoples in the Delta of the Nile, and his name will be the first name known in the history of mankind. The ruler demands that you build a worthy tomb of him. Growth available, the tomb of Horus, growth plus culture. That's very lovely. That's actually a very nice boost for us, um, and this tomb certainly is going to help. Uh, we just need someone to build it. So there we go. Next turn. How many How many turns are these people supposed to live? So about seven turns. A turn is what? Like seven years? Okay. Sounds reasonable. About 50 years. There you go. You have your tomb. Crime. Strong bull crime has... Uh, what are we going to do? Surrender. Pay them off. Refuse. Fall to a hostile. Drunk bull. I really want to see how much we are getting from them. Well, I think losing some authority isn't too bad. And we can replace the worker, so that's not critical. Um, I just don't know where, where it was drawn away from. But it seems to be fine. don't think we've lost any of our high yield fields. Nope, looking pretty good. Unfair decision, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, can we build more? I don't think we can, so 
Yeah, that was probably where the guy was taken away from, uh, from the building slot. Well then, let's send you towards farming. Next turn, a lot of things will go down, but 200. Yeah, so recruitment just plunged. Liberation of the maze and mobilization has finished. That's alright. 28 more turns. Here we go, attacking the go type. They're attacking from an ambush, that's not nice. But we are outflanking them, so there we go, that just crushes them. And there we go. King Car. The King Car has come to power. His name means the double of the soul. He will be remembered as the first creator of laws, the fair tax fair tax collector who developed the regions and supported trading. The ruler demands that you build the world of the two okay. Fine. This king has ended. It seems a little bit early, doesn't it? I thought that would take a while. Still, that being said, let's build the tomb for this guy. And we are getting closer towards building this. Okay, so discover the single pantheon, build a new capital, create the celebrate the unification of Egypt. If we want to build this, I think we need the unification of Egypt. I don't know when that happens, and we only have 10 turns to build it, so I'm not entirely sure how that is supposed to work. Probably when we get the next king. We want to boost culture by quite a bit. I'm, I'm not sure whether we only get that once we discover uh, the last culture tech. Oh, that was a very good tile. You should really be working on here. And since we can't build anything, I think that's pretty good. Do we lose the king now? No, we don't. 24 more turns. 23. Friendly prototype. Oh, that's nice. Effect has ended. Okay, the unfair decision. 22 turns. We're losing a king now, I guess, and get a new one. King Car, King Car has ended. One time big boost in culture. Lovely. Fruit is starting to run. Well, not quite as low, but. Five turns before the trial of the unification of Egypt. Okay. What will we need for that? Everything. <laughs> okay. Just everything. Fine. And I mean, under victory conditions, there is... What? I never celebrated anything. Oh well, we'll see. So... Ruler Namar, the King Nama has come to power. His name means the Furious Catfish. Okay. He showed no mercy to enemies of Horus, furiously, furiously pursuing them across the whole Egyptian land for all of his long life. So, we are getting more army strength, uh, which I think might be nice. And we definitely should be building that thing for him. It's a very long life. 17 turns. That's pretty much the rest of the game. Purple flood of the Nile this year, praise the gods, uh, one time boost, I think one time boost. Because we can in fact discover the single pantheon. Which is also going to give us a lot more authority. Well, not that much actually, it was only increased by 20%. And that's it for culture. There's no more cultures to be discovered. Uh, which probably means we should be rearranging some of these things, so... You... You... Arguably you are not that useful anymore. Five authority I, th I still think is okay. Four authority. Just mixed and army. You're okay. Um, you should probably be on the fields. You have also a lot of authority. Yeah, and the rest of the culture things is not really required. Some culture over here, but also other things, so... That's still going to be useful. Yeah, all of these things are useful. So, yeah, really no need to uh, put you anywhere else than onto the farms. 
There we go. Next turn. So shouldn't we get the... Question? Or the unification um, trial? The beginning of the Egyptian unification. There we go. Egypt has been suffering for many years from civil strife. External and internal enemies interfere with the natural cause of life. Tearing the country apart, the Horus Nama has decided that it's time to restore order and bring peace back to the land of Egypt. Horus wants to restore order in Egypt and he requires you to capture all of the regions along the Nile to build Memphis and transfer the capital there, to unite all gods into a single pantheon and to hold a great feast when it's all accomplished. So, conquered regions is fine. Uh, the capital is not transferred, the Universal Pantheon is created, turns until the end of the game is decreased. Make the life in Egypt easier. So we can get a boost for everything at the, col at the cost of authority. You know what, I think that's a good idea. The conquest of Lower Egypt, the Great Horus has conquered Lower Egypt and ordered that his event be imprinted on a pallet, depicting hundreds of thousands of looted cattle, the punishment of the rebellious rulers of the Nile Delta and their servants, and their destroyed fortresses. And to show that there is no ruler other than Horus, our divine king put two crowns, that of Upper and Lower Egypt, both on his head at the same time. Big boost in everything, uh, that's alright, the unification of Egypt is going to last for 17 turns, um, I think we might be able to do this a bit more quickly. Oh, this is under construction? Okay, if that's under construction, can uh, Horus please help us to reduce that? Oh, we didn't even put a work on that, did we? Well, that was immensely stupid. Okay, let's use one turn to actually build it. Tribute to dead kings. There we go. Let's also construct Memphis now. And let's go ahead and honor Horus as much as we can. To get some of the turns off of the construction. I think we can do that once more. And you can see it's now a thousand, a thousand things to do that. And here we go. Great Horus founded a new capital, Ibu Hejai, translated into Greek Memphis, on the site of the old settlement. The city is surrounded by white walls and occupies an important strategic position, controlling the main trade routes and lands of Upper and Lower, lower Egypt. Boost in population, boost in sort of everything, so that's nice to see, and indeed I think we should be able to celebrate... Fulfill all conditions of the trial, so that's fine. Did in fact fulfill all of the victory conditions. And I think in fact build everything that can be built in the game. Well, except for the alternative route, which we never really needed because we were able to beat um, the scum who celebrated Seth. Although, of course, now we are doing that, so let's go ahead and celebrate. The unification of Egypt, so that's a golden victory which is nice. The people praise Pharaoh and the gods of Egypt for the restoration of order and harmony. Everyone is reconciled and blessed at a great feast. It's all thanks to your infinite wisdom. Lots of achievements over there, so that's um, very lovely. Could go away and want to know what turn we are in. So 15 turns uh, before the final end of the game. Trial passed, gold victory, yes. And here we go, this is our score. Uh, 21 out of 33. I think that could have been a little bit better, um, but I don't necessarily see how. I think uh, some of the um, starting bonuses here were, were a little bit lenient, so that was not the hardest game. Um, but still, I think we managed to do pretty well, so I'm very happy about that. And I must say, very nice game. Um, I think you saw all of it. Um, I did like the art style. I did like the decision making I did like that it wasn't always easy um, so you know what let's see about next time uh, there's a new game out e Egypt Old Kingdom so let me know if you want to see um, us playing that um, maybe that's that's another thing that we can do so other than that thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another stream bye bye